Okay, just a heads up, that's Forest Road 5. That's where I'll be staying tonight. Um, I thought there was another pullout past the fence. Anyway, it's BLM, so you can stay up to 14 days, but there's lots of like little pullout areas. So hopefully by the time I get there tonight at like five o'clock, it's not gonna be very busy. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going up this road. All right, I've been sitting at this light for 10 minutes. That's what I forgot they have all this construction. So um, yeah, the forest road is behind me. So I'm gonna have to wait in this every morning unless I can find somewhere to park on the other side of all this, uh, you know, crap. I don't know what they're doing. They're either fixing the road or they're reinforcing the uh, erosion or something. But there's also a lot right here that I could park in usually, but they don't let anyone park there right now. Sorry for all the bugs. I drove through Texas. So there's about two cars behind me. We're just waiting. Um, I probably could have gone at this time in the morning. There's nobody coming the other way. Um, but I did see four cars come by. So I think the light had just changed on the other end right before I got to this red light. So yeah, just sitting here waiting. <laughs> I need to use the restroom and I need to make a cup of tea. These are two very important things in my life that need to be done in the next like 15 minutes. All right, that's why there's a pilot car. So we just have to follow him, not the light. So that's fine. All these cars leaving. Where are you going? Go back to Angel Fire. You're gonna go to the no fun place now. That's a cool rig though. I don't know if I could do that. That's a little much for me. <laughs> I'm okay with my van. Okay, come on cars, come through. Thank you. Oh my God, what a day. I am thoroughly exhausted. Um, so I'm gonna drive to Forest Road, sorry, Forest Road 5 anyway, because I know it. And I don't think, since there was only like 20 people at the park today, uh, and only a couple vans. And the other vans I spoke to, uh, just to kind of gauge the traffic on Forest Road 5 so that they go to Forest Road 76, which is that way. Um, it's about, I don't know, probably about 10 or 15 minutes down the road. Um, it's already 7 p.m. my time. I just had a Zoom with Harriet. So I'm just gonna go to Forest Road 5 and then tomorrow I'll have some time after I'm done with the bike park at four to go down, all the way down to Forest Road. Uh, I can go right at like 4.30. Uh, down to Forest Road uh, 76 and uh, take a look at that. Unfortunately, I hit the red light, but it's going pretty quickly. So um, yeah, those people just came through. This is a green light here. So I should be, should be getting through this pretty quickly. In the daytime, when the pilot car is working, he's, you know, taking like 30 minute runs. So he'll go take someone 30 minutes and then, then go the other direction 30 minutes. That's why it took so long this morning. But yeah, so yeah, we'll just figure it out. It's just kind of an easy two weeks. I fly back next Friday and then continue on the following week uh, up into Colorado. And I've got a lot of hidden gems, a lot of really cool places I found. Sorry for the bugs. A lot of cool places I found, a lot of hidden gems. I'll be climbing Manitou Incline again, um, which I did uh, three years ago. And that was, that was great. So seeing how much more stronger I am and in shape I am, than three years ago, um, it's gonna be interesting. I feel like I'm a lot stronger even this year than last year riding the mountain bike trails. It's going super fast. Um, and then on, on the downhill bike trail. Um, and then what else? And then yeah, just going up into Colorado Springs, up into Trestle and then making my way across Colorado. So hopefully no July snowstorms <laughs> like I had in June, 2022 when I got caught in a snowstorm by Vail. Um, but I do wanna try some of the smaller ski resort parks if I can. Um, so far, um, Big Sky I'm waiting on, but Trestle, Snowmass in, Angel, uh, in Aspen, and um, I think I'm waiting on Purgatory. So there's a couple more parks I'm waiting to hear back from, but so far I've got like four places that are like, yeah, we want to meet with you, talk about your, your nonprofit, and we'll give you a discounted pass or a free pass, um, whatever we can do. So it's all good. All right, so I'll see you at the uh, camping spot in a little bit. It's funny, this light is so long for the construction that this guy outside of his motorcycle and there's a woman walking her dog down there and we're all just kind of sitting and waiting for this light to never change. All right, this is the second spot. The first spot was just a one like, like pull in down here and back in and I couldn't get down. I didn't want to. There's nowhere to turn around. This is uh, Forest Road 5. Here's my home for the night. A little lopsided, so I have to sleep with my head on the passenger side. This is perfect. So where I stayed last time was spot them number three. They're not marked. I'm just numbering them for the hell of it. Um, but this is great. So it's pretty level. I think it's fine. As long as my fridge is not like, well, my fridge will be fine. 
whatever. <laughs> um, but this is great, and it's right near the entrance. So this should be fine for the next um, couple days as long as no one else comes over here, and it's going to start raining soon. But you can basically just park anywhere you can find a spot. You can camp over there, you know, in that little ditch. Um, it, I'm sorry, this has a bench. That's so cool. They built a bench and a little fire pit, which is super cute. There you go. That's the way to do it. I'm not going to light a fire, though. I'm not a fire person. But anyway, but if you want to, and then I'm sure there's bears and animals around here. But anyway, I'm going to park up for the night. No cell reception, but I'm just going to go to sleep soon. And uh, yeah, it's cooling down. So maybe I will make a cup of tea now that I have a little table, although it's going to start raining. So although I see, I feel rain, but I see no clouds above me. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm at the Taos Lodge, Taos Valley Lodge, the espresso bar. It's really cool. It's really, really pretty. It's very Adobe style, which I like actually. <laughs> Either like concrete houses, like just plain, you know, with just really, you know, mid-century modern furniture or this little stucco style. Anyway, let me double check, make sure my van is locked. There's also a new coffee shop across the street called the Coffee Apothecary. And it looks like there's a bulletin board I can put my um, my business card on. <laughs> I gotta start doing that. I gotta start putting my business card like, I don't know, wedged in people's doors like they do at my apartment. Okay, we're locked. Oh my God, it's two o'clock. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna park up in here for the next five hours, work on a video, get it uploaded, and then just go right around the corner to uh, the Taos Walmart and park up there. Actually, it's just up the road there. But yeah, so let me go in here. The Wi-Fi is pretty decent. And they have, uh, I don't drink coffee, uh, but yeah, it's open until 7 p.m. So there's me, my angel fire t-shirt. All right, I'm back at Taos Walmart. We've got a school bus towing an SUV. We've got another van that just showed up. He looks like he's a mountain biker. <laughs> Dodge Ram just barreling in. Um, my stuff is all on, this is all my biking equipment. But anyway, this guy is like, look at all the solar panels that I have on my van. That's the guy that was here the other night. That's too funny. He's probably gonna try to talk to me. I'm like, piss off. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, fellow van lifers. Uh, he doesn't look like a psycho, so that's good. Uh, the other camper van's still here from the other day. That was here this morning, or actually when I drove by earlier. I just spent five hours in the coffee shop and I managed to uh, edit a video, edit two videos and I'm uploading one of them. So uh, it's a little bit slow on the uh, Taos Valley Lodge Wi-Fi. And there's another van coming in. Nope, that's not coming in. Yeah, so that guy, see that is a, um, a short base, low roof, and um, it's not any much bigger than my living area, but I have a high roof. So I don't know if the guy can stand up in there. It's a little too low for me. He's got like 600 watts of solar though, so. I don't know what he's doing in there. Anyway, the another van that was here last night that's in the spot that I'm in now is all the way down the other end. It's probably gonna rain again. I don't mind if it's like kind of semi nasty weather. I mean, at least I get three or four hours of riding in at Angel Fire. I mean, I did 10, like 10 runs the first day. I did five runs today, which is good. And then did some work and then I'll ride tomorrow, Thursday and then Friday. And then Saturday, I'm gonna go Friday night all the way back into Santa Fe at the Ski Valley. And then I'm going to um, Los Alamos. And some guys on the ski lift told me about how it's like the whole Oppenheimer Manhattan Project thing. Um, so we can learn about how, you know, to be good humans and not do what they did by blowing up, you know, entire cities. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I haven't actually seen the movie. I started watching it for like five minutes. But I'll probably have to watch it Friday night before I actually go out there and go to the museum. But I think it'll be interesting. And there's some other um, historical parts out there. And then there's some, hikes that I can do. So I think I'll just spend a day out in Los Alamos. I've never been out that way. I've been to Bandelier, but I haven't been to Los Alamos. So anyway, that guy's packing up for the night. He's ready to go to bed. <laughs> he's, he's just like barrels in, like barrels into the parking lot, backs in like super quickly, takes over two spaces. And then he just starts putting up all his little uh, portable screen, uh, window screens. He is in a hurry to do something. Anyway, okay, well, I'm in a hurry to uh, finish uploading my video uh, about driving to Lubbock. And then I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea because it is cooler tonight, it's 75 degrees. It feels really, really nice. The other night it was like 95, it was so hot up here. Uh, I don't know if I'll ride Rift Valley Trail. I don't think I'll be going to Angel Fire Sunday. 
I think I'll just stay in Taos and um, maybe look around and do some sightseeing and ride Rift Valley. Cause that's a two hour ride and then probably just work on my computer. I don't know, it's kind of an easy weekend. I don't want to overdo it too much because I do have a lot of um, biking up in Colorado and Utah and Montana that I've never done before. Like most of it I've never done, like Snowmass and Purgatory and uh, Deer, Deer Valley and all that stuff. So I want to really kind of conserve my energy for that. Um, plus, you know, I'm not that familiar with Colorado outside of the national parks and outside of Colorado Springs, uh, even though I've been all over. Um, I've been to Buena Vista, I've been to Aspen, uh, but now I'm going to be really exploring more than I did before. Anyway. Okay, well, that guy's probably going to get on his Starlink over there. <laughs> All right, um, okay, well, I will see you guys in the morning when I head back to Angel Fire. I'm going to get up at 5. With it. it's, it's super bright at 5 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to get up at 5 and then go drive 45 minutes out to um, Taos. Oh, no, sorry, I'm in Taos, up, out to Angel Fire, get my parking spot, and hopefully it's not going to rain tomorrow. So, yeah, here's to another day of riding. Good morning from Taos Walmart. A lot of people sleeping in their vehicles over here and we've got two school buses. I've got a camper van behind me, the Ram Pro Master and uh, uh, Sprint, no, the other Ram Pro Master down there. Um, okay, so Walmart opens at six. I do need to um, figure out where to dump out my toilet. <laughs> so I think there's a campsite on the way to Taos. I'm oh, sorry, not Taos, Angel Fire. So I'm gonna go to Angel Fire now. It's about 40 minutes away and then park up outside the uh, bike park and go take a nap. Anyway, I just want to get there early because I need to park close to the park because I like to have my van right outside the door. <laughs> anyway, okay, let me get going. And yeah, it's a Thursday. So yeah, it's doing well. This is day three of mountain biking. So hopefully this weather will clear up. Hopefully it's not going to rain. I don't know. It looks kind of dark and foreboding ahead of me. But anyway, if I can get like at least a couple hours in, that's fine. And then I'll be on Forest Road 5 tonight. So I'll just be staying in Angel Fire regardless. So it's fine. Even if I have to like work on my computer, I can go into the Angel Fire Resort and just go sit in the lobby and work on my computer there. All right, if you have to dump out your pee jug, there's a toilet right on the way to the Welcome to Tao sign, the De Visadero, uh hiking trail, which is a really, really good trail. Um, I've done it many, many times. Um, it's on the way to Angel Fire. It's like literally two minutes once you get onto the uh, uh, the highway to get to Angel Fire. So yeah, it's just uh, it's a little bit nasty inside that toilet though. <laughs> so get your tetanus shot and use your Perel. Anyway, okay, let's keep going. Um, all right, we've done housekeeping and let's head on. Well, this is a rarity. I've got my door open. I'm making a cup of tea. I've got it boiling down there. I couldn't figure out how to use my new um, my new little stove, which is wider for the, you know, the only reason I got the the teapot is because it would fit. But anyway, the little camping stove works. So I'm in this parking lot over here with all these other cyclists. And I don't know that they know that they can't stay here overnight. So <laughs> yeah, uh, this morning when I drove by, there was a ton of people parked overnight here. I don't think they're vendors. Anyway, but I called security to see. I was like, well, maybe it's changed because these people have a total camp set up over there. Everyone's got their slide outs and everything. So, um, but I'll go out to the forest road anyway. I've got to call Harriet at uh, 6 p.m. my time and then uh, on Zoom. So I'll do that while I'm here in the Wi-Fi and then I'll go out to the forest road and just park up there. I don't think any of these people are gonna be out on the forest road. Um, but yeah, there's multiple spots for me to go if I don't get the first or second spot. If I, don't, if I don't get the second spot again, which was fantastic, I'll just go up the road a little bit more. Um, worst case scenario, I can just park right on the main <laughs> main road where the, the first entrance is. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna make my cup of tea. I always make two. So I make one in the thermos that'll be warm for like another hour and then one for, you know, to drink now. And then I've got to clean all this stuff up. It's a mess. But I've got to organize my catch-all. I don't know how many of you have catch-alls, but I've got tons of like electronic catch-alls. I need to find a better system. Um, can't even speak. A better system, maybe some sort of cabinet or something because everything else is full. The fridge is working well. Um, I do need to work on maintaining power. It was a cloudy day today, so I've only got 30% coming in on the uh, main um, uh, Bouge RV. Sorry for my tissue. The Bouge, R Bouge RV and then I've got the Jackery that's charging on the uh, car right now in the van. Ah, the pantry looks good though. I'm glad I made extra room, even though now I can't get out with the extra tra tray table. But having the extra counter space is nice. I will change out this wood to something else. It's just that I just happen to have a spare piece of wood for a table I never built. So anyway, maybe I'll get another uh, cabinet door like this from Ikea. 
So maybe when I'm down in Albuquerque, I'll pop over. To, I think there's an Ikea in Albuquerque. I have to, I have to double check. But I'll uh, go to Ikea one day and go get another matching countertop, either one like this or one like that. Okay, it's an NV from Texas, but I don't know. I don't think I know them. Two Max fans. <laughs> I shouldn't put on the, on our Facebook page. I should be like, hey, if you're the envy that's in, you know, Angel Fire, because we don't want to, you know, call attention to people. We don't want to, you know, wrap people out where they are. That's kind of like poor form. But anyway, so I'm just going to park here. I'm not going to leave here for a bit. I should. I'll just stay here for a minute. They're probably eating or in the store. There's like a little, it's so weird, like not needing any equipment because I have everything. It's a mountain sports store. Um, but I'll wait for like 10 minutes. I'm going to watch a YouTube video and just get some sun and then um, go for a drive. All right, this is Forest Road 76. This guy's gonna smoke me. Close my window. So that car just came down. It's not a bad road. I opened my window to hear if that noise is gonna be made again, but um, yeah, I'll see how it is. So far I've got 5G, so that's good. I just need one pull out. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's check it out. Okay, I went 30 seconds up the road, I'm turning around. It's gonna take me forever to get up and down this road tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna go to the forest road tonight. I don't think anyone will be out there. Plus my van's making that funny noise on the wheel. So yeah, let me go back and just go hang out at the lake, uh, which is also part of the Angel Fire Resort. And I'll call Harriet from there and then I'll go head over to Forest Road. And then I'll be in for the night. I want to go to bed. I'm so tired, <laughs> but it's good. It's all good. <laughs> This is the lake. There's one parking spot. It looks like uh, looks like there's activities. Yeah, I guess I could park here. It's public. There's a dog park as well, and there's kayaks. I haven't been kayaking or paddleboarding in a very long time, so let me just park here, and I'll just sit here for the next hour or so and call Harriet. I'm getting so restless. I'm just going to go back to the supermarket and. Uh, do my zoom there. I'm too tired to be sitting here. <laughs> I look like I'm like just staring at the lake and it's not really like the prettiest of lakes either. So I'll get enough lakes when I'm in Montana and Colorado, but for now I'm going to just go back and uh, yeah, I'll just talk to you guys. Talk to you guys what about my oh, campsite tonight. Hopefully no one will take my spot. Hopefully everyone's just staying at the resort in the parking lot. So, I mean, $15, not that much, but that's half a tank of gas. So I'd rather conserve my money for that instead of paying. For, I'm, I'm going to try not, like, literally, I'm going to try not to pay for anything on this trip in terms of accommodation. Like, I'm tired and babbling. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, when I was talking to Harriet on Zoom, this big rainstorm came in and my whole van was shaking. So I'm gonna go out to the forest road right now. Hopefully I won't park in the mud. It's gonna be muddy on the mountain tomorrow, but the rain's gonna stop in about an hour and hopefully it'll dry out by tomorrow morning. But yeah, this guy blocked me in. So let me do a 17 point turn to get out of this space. All right, executive decision. I'm just gonna drive 20 miles back into Taos. I'm only 33 minutes away and I'm stuck in the construction again. But yeah, I'm not gonna go on a forest road and get stuck in the mud with no cell reception. So I'm just gonna go back to Walmart and uh, park up there. I'll be back there in 7.20 p.m. hopefully, 7.30 p.m. And then I'll just camp out. Actually, I need to go, well, it's raining. I need to go into Walmart. I think it's closed at 10, but I need to get some uh, Velcro things for uh, my handy dandy little, little trail like replicas that they sell at um they sell at um angel fires they're super cute i want to put them somewhere i don't know where i'll put them yet but i want to get some like sticky back things so i can like velcro them to the ceiling or something i don't know we'll figure it out okay oh it's cold now it's chilly but yeah I, i'm gonna go park at walmart uh they don't care if you stay more than one day honestly i've seen the same people there every time even last fall the same the same school bus and all that stuff but this rain is going to go on until 9 p.m and i don't want to be stuck on that forest road uh in that mud so you know i only have rear wheel drive and i don't have any way to get out of the mud if i get stuck in it good morning from beautiful taos and uh it looks like it's clearing up ahead behind me it's all dark and foreboding oh that sky is amazing over there 
that is a red red sky anyway so i'm gonna head up the mountain to angel fire uh, i slept like a rock last night which was great there's quite a lot of people actually sleeping in their cars and vans at walmart so thank you walmart for letting us stay um yeah i'm gonna just go through this neighborhood here i don't know why it's sending me this way anyway um yeah so i'm gonna go up to the mountain and um even if i get a couple of runs in i'm gonna leave here by noon so hopefully there won't be any delays hopefully the enduro race will happen because i think that'll be super fun to be like riding alongside those that are racing it was a really good vibe yesterday none of the trails i was on were busy i was the only person on the trails everyone else was riding the enduro track uh, but i would pass them as i was going downhill because enduro you go uphill uh, in parts and so um, you just saw them pedaling uphill as I'm just cruising on by no handed it was really fun so I love it I mean I you know I was kind of apprehensive about the crowds um, but then I really love the energy so yeah and Angel Fire Bike Park is a really really chill place everyone's just real cool and everyone coming in for the race has been on the circuit so they came from uh, Silver Mountain uh, um, in uh, northern Idaho they're heading up to uh, Utah for like the next race and so a lot of them kind of do the race circuit and there's a lot of dads with teenagers and uh there's a couple girls um which is good to see um you know adrenaline junkies so yay for us <laughs> anyway okay so i'm gonna go up it'll be a good ride it is cold today it's about oh, hang on potholes it's about 54 degrees um it's gonna be colder up on the mountain but that sky is red 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 that is beautiful I don't know, what is it? Well, the, my, my neighbor's grandmother used to say like, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. I'm like, great. <laughs> That's fantastic, it's pollution. Anyway, okay, oh, this is beautiful. Wow, this is what van life is about. You get to wake up to a sunset in a different place every day if you want to. And that is, that is amazing. I don't get any view in the morning when I wake up in Houston. I just look at my balcony and then the street. I don't even get to see the sun in the morning because my windows don't face in the right direction. I'm really glad that I didn't stay on the forest road last night because I had um, I had Wi-Fi at Walmart which was good so I just sat and watched a uh, Netflix movie um, and uh, yeah then just uh, went to bed about 10 p.m. so it's all good. I'm tired though. Actually I'm not tired. I'm wide awake. What am I talking about? All right let's get up the mountain and I will talk to you guys uh, when I'm there. So yay for day four of Angel Fire and then I'm back into Santa Fe tonight. So this is the wall that they've been building for the last year or so. It looks actually really nice but it costs 28 million dollars <laughs> which is ridiculous anyway but I guess it's going to help erosion because this is the only road from Taos to get up here I'm pretty sure unless you go like the long way um, but yeah I want to go the long way to Santa Fe, but it's like two and a half hours versus two hours. But anyway, okay, we're just following the pilot car and I'll be at uh, the resort, the bike park in about 10 minutes. So yay, beautiful, beautiful day up here. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't take it anymore. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. 